What is up guys? Today we're going to be talking about atmospheres and adding extra energy into your tracks. So one thing I want to share with you guys is a little tip that I use to make atmospheres for my tracks. At this point, once I've got a bunch of sounds and stuff that I've created for the track, I will start to use different effects to create atmospheres and stuff using the sounds that I've already created. I find that way in terms of sort of the tonal aspects of everything, it kind of all fits together. Because say for example, in the intro, you're using an atmosphere that's created from the sound that then uh, comes in later on in the track. Not only are you giving the audience or the listener a kind of sneak peek as to the tone of where the track is heading, but it's also just an easy way to create atmospheres and you kind of won't sit cycling through presets on random synths until you find the sort of patch or pad that you're looking for. It's kind of a much easier way to go. So like I said, I like to use sounds that are already in the track to create atmospheric elements to add to the track. I find that way it kind of just bolsters the overall tone that you've got going um, and adds to the sort of tonality or adds to the energy of the sounds that you've got. And one way I like to do that is using reverbs. There's one little trick I want to show you guys. And I usually, what I do is um, I'll apply this kind of effect to my synths. So what I'll do is let me just group all of these into, into a group bus. So let's go over to the mixer. So we've selected all the channels and we can right click up here, add group channel to selected tracks. And let's call this synths group. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I'm an avid user and lover of a software called VCV Rack, which is actually free. I'm going to go ahead and post a link to where you can download that in the description of the video. So it's kind of like a modular emulation. So there's a specific module that comes with VCV Rack called the Audible Instruments Texture Synthesizer. And I believe it's an emulation of the Mutable Clouds. And there's something that this reverb does to the sound that's just pretty incredible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link it up to the bridge connection and then I'm going to set the bridge up here in my Cubase port one. Cool. So now what's going to be happening is the audio from my synths group should be passing through into VCV rack and then back into the synths group. Let's just check if it's working. So the texture synthesizer that comes with VCV Rack is a granular reverb. And what that allows you to do is kind of freeze it and create some really cool effects. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch it over to the Spectral Madness setting over here. And then you can right click and actually just choose a couple of these. Let's turn feedback up. Let's turn reverb up as well. Let's listen to this now. So what's happening there is it's kind of grabbed a, a sample of the reverb sound and it's kind of looping it and it allows you to apply the parameters to that specific uh, sort of sample that's being uh, granularly resynthesized. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the audio from the synths group into a new audio channel over here. So what we can do is just add an audio channel. Um, let's go input and call this synths group. And then we can actually just record the happenings. Wow, that was really cool. So the idea now is to sort of incorporate this thing that we've recorded into the track. <clears throat> and let's just disable this kind of uh, routing that we've created here so we can actually hear our synths again. I only really started getting like really good near the ending of the recording. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to skip the first few minutes of the ambient that we recorded and just start about here. Let's listen to what the sounds like. So 
So with these kind of things, I like to obviously cut out a lot of the low end, um, but what I'll do is I'll actually set it to a mid cut. So if you've got a mid side uh, EQ, um, what that's gonna do is it's gonna cut all the low end from the mid channel and leave it on the stereo channels. And I'll cut less uh, low end from the stereo channels. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make the sound sound a lot wider than it actually is. So let's say we'll cut the mids, oopsie. Let's just duplicate this and set it down to like here and then set this over to side. And then I'll usually also put an LFO tool on this guy, but I won't use it 100%. Uh, so I'll show you the kind of pattern that I usually do with my atmospheres. Something kind of just like this. A very light, just to create more of a pumping vibe. I think there's still a bit uh, much mid-range coming through, so I'll kind of just do an overall cut like this of the sort of both stereo channels. Stuff like the atmospheres I'll usually cut out in the sections where it's kind of like after the drop where it's like building up and stuff like that. I'll sort of fade it out slowly um, and then start to introduce it again to kind of build up the energy again in the track. Um, so once you've kind of laid out this entire bit here, what I do is I'll usually, um, you know, every few bars just create a cut, like every eight bars or so, just so it's much easier to choose which sections have and which sections haven't because then you can kind of, ooh, oopsie. You can kind of just mute this one. Um, let's hear what it sounds like now. I hope that helps you guys out. Like I said, you don't have to use this reverb. It's just very helpful and it's got a very particular sound that I like to use. Specifically when the when you freeze it, I found, um, I tested a lot of other delays that have got the freeze function and none of them really sounded like this. Um, none of them really created that type of atmosphere effect that I was looking for. So go ahead and try it and let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna post a link to VCV Rack where you can go ahead and download that in the description of this video. So definitely check that out and play around with it and let me know what you guys think about that software. If you guys wanna support my channel, head on over to my Patreon and check out the different pledges I've got there. As always, if you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time.